Hello and welcome to uh, Swinging Steve's Boggin Beer Reviews and I am pleased to say this is my first Bellhaven Beer Review. We've got a caster's mind back here guys. We've got a caster's mind back to just after Christmas when there was... Oh no, sorry, it wasn't just after Christmas. In fact, it was before Christmas. It was around about last year, around about bonfire night time when Morrison's had a, a beer festival thingy where they were selling lots of beers for a quid. This was one of those beers, and it's been in my garage waiting to be reviewed, but I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, it's a golden laid vanilla beer, and I do think it's infused with, uh, it's okay aged ale, and I think it's infused with whiskey as well. Uh, I think, anyway. Anyway. Nice bottle cap with a thistle on it. Those of you that know me know I like my bottle caps, I do collect them. In fact, I'm going to do a video pretty soon, I think, with my bottle cap collection. Just as like a little bit of a one-off, because I know you're dying to see it. So, yeah, I've not poured that very well. It's got a giant head on it. While that's dissipating, Bellhaven is based in Scotland. The thistle's a bit of a giveaway. Um, I think it's now owned by Green King, so I think it's part of the Green King franchise. I'm not sure, actually. I think it's Green King. The bottle certainly has the Green King characteristic shape. So, yeah. Morrison's did a really good job with this beer festival thing. There were some absolutely fabulous beers. Uh, I mean, just to name one, the chocolate um, orange stout from Black Sheep was absolutely fantastic. And there was also a mocha one, which I have yet to review as well, but I've had one of those already, uh, and that was really nice too. Lots of different beers. Hook Norton had a few in there. Um, Welcome had a few beers in. So, yeah. Now that's dissipated a little bit. The head... There we go. Oh, sorry about that. It glitched again, my uh, camera. So there we go. That's dissipated to nothing now. I'm going to give that a go. swish round. Uh, it's got some okay lacing. It, it looks a little bit on the thin side, this, to be honest. It's got a nice enough colour. Nice sort of butterscotchy sort of colour into that. Um, some lacing going off there. Let's give it a smell. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice sort of sweet, slightly buttery. Funny I mentioned butterscotch actually because it has got a little bit of butterscotch on the smell. Um, a little bit fruity. Um, slight sort of biscuitness on the backbone of it. And you are just getting a hint of vanilla on it. Just getting a hint of vanilla and that whisk is just, just showing its face. It's not, it's very, it's very subtle, but it is in there. I won't say it's got a particularly oaky smell. Although it is coming through a little bit now. Okay. Here we go. Cheers. See what it tastes like. I hate to say this, it's got a Green king taste to it. And what I mean by that is Green King have this formula that makes their beer sort of taste a little bit. It works for every beer that they do, but it's got like this, it's a mixture between the malts and the sort of earthy sort of, I think it's like the Challenger hop that they use quite a lot. And it gives it this sort of, almost like a slight chewy malty sort of flavour or feel texture. But it's got this sort of dried fruit, almost slightly raisiny sort of fruitiness to it and it's got that backbone running through this beer however what you are getting is more of a buttery butterscotch um, and slight vanilla flavour to it it's a little bit thin you are getting a slight slight warmth on the whiskey going down as well it tastes okay it tastes okay. It tastes nice enough. Um, as you can see, it's uh, disappeared quite quickly. It, the carbonation is practically non-existent now. It just seems to disappear really quickly. It's okay. It's all right. What else am I getting on there? It's um. 
to summarise, to summarise a little bit, it's got vanilla, it's got like, um, it's got a green kingy backbone to it, which I've described as this sort of like maltese, like the raisin, the dried fruit sort of flavour that you get with their beers. Uh, and it's got, it's got like a little zazz, a whiskey coming through, you know, you're just getting that whiskey aroma coming through, which is a mixture of vanilla and slight lemon zest to it as well. On the flavour, it's not bitter at all. It's slightly sweet. Um, it's got quite a thin mouthfeel. Um, it's okay. It's okay. So, this is what it says. Quakus is a golden ale with delicious, uh, with a deliciously soft vanilla oak aroma and a hint of whiskey warmth on the finish. Brewed from 100% Scottish barley, malt and water from our ancient brewery. Sorry, I swear I don't know when I talk, but it, look, but it looks like I'm on a ship. Um, well, brewery well, then mature, stop swaying. Uh, then matured on oak, season, uh, on oak, seasoned with malt whiskey. I think, is it spelled Quercus? 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 He's a smooth, complex beer, sophisticated yet approachable. It's not offensive at all. It's nice. It has got that, if you like your buttery, but it's got a butterscotchy feel to it. <clears throat> Especially on the tongue, just it, it came up a bit then. I did a little bit of a burp. And again, yeah, it's quite, it's, it's got a little bit of a butterscotch note to it, but it's, it's, it's nothing. What about it again? That's the thing you've got to ask yourself. Um, possibly. Yeah, I won't rush it. I won't rush out to buy it again. I might buy it again. I might buy it again, but um, I'm not. I'm not particularly bowled over by it. Um, Belhaven, Quercus, Vanilla, Laden, Viniski. I, I would like a little bit more of a warmth. I think from the the whiskey for me, uh, a, a beer with a bit more body to it. I'm not getting much of the oakiness on there. Slightly woody, I suppose, but 4.7%. I'm going to give this uh, 6.5. It came at one pound. Bear that in mind. It came in at one pound. This at Morrison's on their beer on their um, beer festival range. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it 6.5. I'm not going to give it any more than that. I think 6.5 is fair enough for the price. If it wasn't that price, maybe that that score would be a bit lower. Because it really didn't bully me off, and I don't think I'd rush out to buy this again. However, I will be trying more Believe and stuff. Nice bottle cap, guys. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you all later. Please subscribe. Uh, please add me on Twitter. Please add me on YouTube. Please add comments because I love getting back to people's comments. And I'll see you next time.